Okay, so now I have something very, very cool to show you. This is the very first comic book I've ever worked on. JLA Annual. The very first comic book I've ever done for DC Comics. This one is signed by Bernie Ryson. Now, if you look inside, right here, here's my name. All the wall, the very, the very first comic. And in here, I did all the interiors. I remember working on this, my very first DC comic book. And where's the credits? Let me see where the credits, you guys can take a look. Right over here, inks wall to wall over Mark Parillo's uh, pencils. So, I did all the interiors, but I did not do the cover. So, this was about maybe 20, I would say, over 20 years ago. So that was a long time ago. Fast forward 20 years later, somebody contacted me. His name was Dwayne. Here's Dwayne. I'm meeting up with him at a convention. There's a reason why we're meeting up. He asked me if I can ink a piece of Bernie Rice's work. And here's Bernie's piece. Look at that. And here's my inks. And that's the cover. And that's full circle for me. Not only that, Dwayne had other inker artists that contribute. So I'm gonna show you how their pieces look. So right over here, we have this one is Brett Breeding. I'm gonna hold this in the angle so there's no glare. Okay, right over here. You guys can take a look and see the different inking styles. Feel free to pause the video. Look at that tree. Very nice. This one here is Mark Morales. So originally I saw Mark uh, doing a work in progress piece and I asked him, hey Mark, did you know that's the very first comic that I've worked on? He goes, oh really, let me get you in touch with the person who commissioned me. Maybe he'll have you do it too. And that's, that's the way, right here. He's the one who contacted me. Okay, that's Mark's piece. Okay, we're gonna turn the page. So here's more, right over here. This one is Eber Ferreira. Yeah. Ferreira? Yeah. Okay. okay, here's his. Very cool. And this one here is Howard Shum. Howard Shum's a good friend. I met him way before I started working in comics. He's a very nice guy, very encouraging. All these, all these legendary inkers. This one is Mark McKenna. A long time ago, Mark McKenna used to be a team with uh, Mick Gray and uh, McCone. McCone, they were a team. And the funny thing is, a long time ago, Mark McKenna almost hired me to be the assistant inker, but I never actually took it. So that was, that was way early in my career before I was working on anything. Here, this one is uh, Jay List Liston. His version over Bernie Ryson. Again, feel free to pause the video to take another closer look. Look at the, look at the trees. Okay, and then there's another one. This one here is Bob McCoy. Bob McCloud. Bob, Bob McCloud. Oh yeah, Bob McCloud. I think Bob McCloud on some uh, video games. Uh, no, actually no, some action figure packaging. He's a, he's a, he's a very good artist. How, I don't know why I said Bob McCloud. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bob McCloud's uh, inks. Okay. This one is Joe Rubenstein. Joe Rubenstein is the artist that inked Frank Miller on that Wolverine miniseries from a long time. He's a very good artist, very good painter. That's his style. Nice. And then that's all the pages. Okay, so we have, so far we have this, this one, this one. Okay, Joe Rubenstein. Bob McLeod. Bob McLeod. <laughs> Jay Liston. Yep. Mark McKenna. Yes. Howard Shum. I remember Howard's autograph. He would always sign his uh, name, kind of looked like a dollar sign. This one's uh, Eber Ferreira. Yep. This one's uh, Mark Morales. I love Mark's work. He's such an awesome mm -hmm. ink artist. Look, look at the textures. This one is uh, Brett Breeding. Yes. I I think Brett Breeding on a Captain Cold t-shirt. Uh, a long time before these comics. I don't know if they made the published the t-shirt. That's very nice. 
And finally, going back, there is Bertie Wrightson's pencils, preliminary pencils. His pencils are so amazing. Right over here, Bertie Wrightson's pencils. And then here's my inks. I'm gonna take one more look. My inks over Bertie Rice's work. And then here's the published comic. And over here. So there you have it. That's me. Thank you, Dwayne, for having me work on this commission. It was a full circle project. My very, very first comic I worked on, and to be able to do the uh, cover is awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and watch, watch for more videos in the future. Thank you.